Hi everyone. Good to see you all again. Today you're going to learn a very interesting folk art from India. Yes, you're going to learn Madhubani painting. Madhubani art or Mithila painting is a style of Indian folk art practiced in the Mithila region of the Indian subcontinent. This painting is done with a variety of tools including fingers, twigs, brushes, nibs, pens and matchsticks using natural dyes and pigments. It is characterized by its eye-catching geometric patterns. Madhubani art was traditionally done on the walls and later developed to create them on fabrics, papers and canvases. Today, let's learn how to create this art on paper for a wall frame. You will need the following materials to create your Madhubani art. A cardstock paper, white cardstock, a pencil to do your drawing, a permanent marker in black, a fine tip marker preferably, an eraser, some black permanent markers and some broad color tip markers. Now let's learn how to create our very own Madhubani wall frame painting. As a first step, we're going to take our cardstock paper for to start with our drawing. Preferably a cardstock paper would be better or you can even use a ivory board or a cartridge paper. A regular drawing paper will not work for this because your paper will be very flimsy when you do your outlining and coloring. So let's make a border first for our design. I'm just going to start with a very simple zigzag border like this. The same way on all the four sides we will create a border like this to start with our design. Now that we have a border here, we are going to double the border line like this. We are just going to make a double line with the same lines. We will do like this and we will keep it ready. As a next step, after creating our border, we are going to start with our main design here. The design that we are going to draw is going to be a peacock design with fish feathers on it, like fish wings on it. So we're just going to see how we can create that. As a first step, we're going to start from the fish. I'm using a pencil to do my initial drawing. So we got a basic shape of our fish here. We're going to have one more fish overlapping this fish. And then the peacock's head is going to come from there. Like that. And then the beak. Then the body of the peacock like this we will be adding details to our design and we'll keep it ready So like this, let's get our composition ready. If you notice, I've completed with our main design and I've also added two fishes here in Madhubani style. Now the next is we are just going to do some fillers here. To do the fillers, you can make some flowers, some leaves, some berries, which are all traditionally done in any Madhubani design. So we're just going to add them here to our design, like how I'm doing now here with the flower. So gradually add some leaves. Always have a double line so that when you color it is even more enhanced. 
like this. So like this, add some leaves, some berries, some flowers, and let's fill up our design and keep it ready. Now that our outline design is ready, we're just going to go over the pencil lines and we're going to trace it with a black permanent marker. Now in Madhubani painting, there are many ways and many tools to outline your design. You can use a nib and ink to do it, or you can use a permanent marker, you can use a match stick, you can use a popsicle stick. There are so many ways that you can outline the design. So traditionally, they were using bamboo sticks to outline the design with black charcoal ink. But here we are in the modern using permanent markers to go over the design. So I'm going to now use my black permanent marker and I'm going to go over the pencil drawing like how I'm doing now. You're going to trace the entire design and we're going to keep it ready. So let's get it done. You need to outline it very patiently with all the details of our design. Taking time to go over every part of the design. So let's outline like this and keep it ready. Now that we have finished tracing all our pencil drawing with a permanent marker, we can start erasing all the pencil lines. So take your time, use a good eraser and clean all the pencil lines from your design. So all your guidelines will be cleaned up like this. So like this, let's erase and keep them ready for the next step. Now that our designs are all ready, we can start coloring our design using marker pen. You can use any medium of your choice. You can even use color pencils, regular markers, watercolors, anything works great for this artwork. So you can decide your medium, it's totally your choice and you can get started. Right now I'm going to use markers for my activity. Since we have already used a permanent marker to trace over the outline, you don't have to worry going over it with your regular marker pens. It will not bleed, it will not mix with your colors. So like this, we will start filling our design gradually, taking the time for each area. Madhubani painting is very, very colorful with vibrant colors. So you can decide your color scheme. It's totally your taste and preference in deciding which color you want to do where as you work with this activity. So like this, we are going to fill our design with vibrant colors. If you notice, I'm using now yellow color in many areas to have a balance in my coloring so that I don't just dominate my work with just one color and there is an equal distribution of colors throughout my artwork. So like this, let's take our time to fill in area by area with different colors of our choice and get it ready. As a next step, we will move on to our next color. The next color is going to be blue. I'm just going to take my blue marker pen and I'm going to fill to certain areas with blue color. So gradually fill up your design with many colors. Ensure to have a white border around so that there is more relief for your design. So like this, we will start filling area by area with different colors and we'll get it ready. If you notice, I've completed all the leaves of my design and now we can start working on your berries and areas where you have to do it in red. So I'm going to use my red marker now and start filling area by area with red color marker for the berries, for the beak, like this. In this artwork, they use mostly the natural dyes which they take from flowers, leaves, barks and they use it for their activity. But here in modern, we use the regular paints like poster paints or watercolors 
If you're doing it on a canvas, you can even use acrylic paints. Or if it's on a fabric, you can use even fabric paints for this activity. So like this, let's fill up area by area with different colors and get it ready. As a next step, you can start filling in the design with some line patterns, which is traditionally done in Madhubani art. So using your marker, you can go ahead and fill some areas of your design, which is lines, parallel lines, having the background white space. You can fill up lines like this. So like this, you can work in many areas with just only lines to fill up that particular area. So let's fill up like this and get it ready. As a next step, we will enhance our border using a very contrasting color. I'm using now my red marker with a broad tip to go over my border to bring it out to make it stand out. So like this, you can enhance your full design with contrasting colors like how I'm doing and you can get it ready. You can also use dots, patterns, lines to create a beautiful effect for your design. For example, you can use a bright contrasting color like this and you can make some bordered designs like this with lines to enhance your design. Like this, you can try with many colors on all sides and you can keep it ready. As a next step, we can use some dots to enhance our design. For that, I'm going to use brown marker on my yellow base. So I'm just using the dotting method to fill up some areas with some textures and patterns. So like this, you can use dots with different contrasting colors based on the base color. Now for a yellow base, I've used a brown marker. And same way for a green base, I can go ahead and use a dark green and I'm creating dots on that. So like this, you can choose some areas of your design to make some dot textures like this and you can keep it ready. You can also use a black permanent marker to create some dots on the background white area like this. And you can fill up your design and give it a finished complete look. So let's get it ready like this and finish our artwork. If you notice, I've completed my entire Madhubani painting design. The design has come out really well and looks very, very colorful. There is a balance of all the colors in this artwork. Like we started in the beginning with yellow and then we did blue, red, green. With vibrant colors, we filled our design. We also use some textures like lines, dots and patterns to fill up our borders and we finished our design. The completed design can be mounted on a black paper and then you can frame it or you can laminate it like this and you can use it even as a wall frame. Now this is just one idea of doing Madhubani painting on paper. You can also try the same idea with different surfaces like you can even try it on a canvas bag. Look at the same design which I tried on a canvas bag. So you can try ideas like this even on fabrics you can try it. In the same way, you can also try a koi design, a fish design in same Madhubani style and I've done this on a small canvas cloth bag. So there are many ways and some variations which you can show in this artwork. After you practice and you get well versed on paper, you can try working on fabrics like these. When you use on fabrics, you have to use a permanent marker or a fabric pen or fabric paints. Only then it will be a permanent artwork on your piece of fabric. So I hope you'll enjoy creating your Madhubani art on various surfaces. Thanks for watching.